the Ukrainians called it the most massive attack. And the aftermath was captured in a child's bedroom in Kyiv and on the capital streets down below. The Russian bombardment was waged over 18 agonizing hours and it has left much of the city covered in bits of glass and metal. Residents surveyed the scene in trepidation. The new year is coming, a joy for us, but I knew things wouldn't go well, that they would attack with all their might. I had a premonition. The assault was both immense and indiscriminate. Factories and schools, shops and homes struck by Russian weaponry. This block in Odessa was hit by a notorious Shahid drone. An MP representing the city said Russia was targeting morale. Russia still hopes to achieve its goals, and one of their goals is uh, terror against civilians and people trying to kill moral inside the country at the time of Christmas and New Year holidays. So the nothing new from Russia being a terrorist state, but it's been very painful. Russia's aerial assault may signal the beginning of a major winter offensive, with their troops now seizing territory in key locations on the Eastern Front. The Ukrainians find themselves under increasing pressure on the battlefield and in the air. The UK has announced the shipment of hundreds of air defence missiles to help bolster dwindling supplies. Such assistance is badly needed. Of 158 weapons fired by the Russians, dozens made it through with a missile obliterating part of this shopping mall in Dnipro. Officials said a maternity hospital was also damaged in the attack. The effects of this aerial assault were also experienced in neighboring Poland, a Russian missile flying through that country's airspace before heading to Ukraine. Everything indicates that a Russian weapon crossed our borders, said the head of the Polish army. It was the worst day in a very long time, said one official, as Ukraine confronts an emboldened and determined enemy in the depths of winter. John Sparks, Sky News.